What we found in terms of mental disorders is that um, they are, as a group, a leading cause of uh, the disease burden globally. They're within the top 10 leading causes of burden or disability adjusted life years at the global level. They are also the second leading cause of disability or non-fatal burden globally. Um, these disorders impact us at all um, years of life, starting with childhood mental disorders in the young through to other more common and chronic mental disorders um, in adulthood and into the elderly. We find that they impact both males and females and they impact all populations uh, across the globe. Um, we found that uh, they are most prevalent and most impactful between the ages of 15 and 65 at a time of life when um, we are expected to be our most productive in the population. We find that overall burden due to mental disorders um, in terms of numbers are increasing between 1990 and 2019. Um, however, the rates, the age standardized prevalence rates are not increasing. They remain quite stable um, across years. What this means is as um, we get better at um, dealing with communicable diseases, um, diseases that cause a lot of mortality, um, more of the population is now living to a time when they're more likely to be impacted by mental disorders. Um, what that means is we need to plan for the future. We need to plan for our mental health response. Um, there are many intervention strategies that has been found to be effective at reducing burden um, of mental disorders such as depressive disorders and anxiety disorders, which are leading causes of disease burden. However, the uptake has been slow. Um, most populations are still ill-equipped at uh, dealing or responding to um, those impacted by mental disorders in the population.